to Dylan, and now Broadhurst. Saw Hagen so well. Good looking ball too. Oh, and it's in! And Birmingham City have surprised Nottingham Forest again. The men very early. And Williamson coming through now. He's very, very strong indeed. And it's Coe in front of Williamson trying to press him, but Coe comes away with very smooth acceleration. But he's got an awful lot of problems here. And the posting in the bay half position. The love is coming with a great run, but on the stand side it's Broffing from Baronet and the Easter Sun, and over on the far side it is La Love, but it's now Broffing at Baronet and Broffing is going to win it. Cosworth-powered Williams. What about Danny Sullivan in only his third Formula One race? The first four cross the line almost together, and now Rosberg is right in the slipstream of Arnu, and he's surely going to try and take him up Paddock Bend. A magnificent scrap for the first four places on this, the seventh left out of 40, and Sullivan goes up and tries to take second place from Arnu. That's exactly what happened at Long Beach. He'll be lucky Rosberg against Rosberg. And, uh, He's been lucky against anyone. He's having a look. He's going to have to, <laughs> have to make his... Oi, David, come on, come on out. It's not easy to pass there, because the conventional passing places at Brown's Hatch... Yeah, for my man, the back eyes have walked it already. There's a long way to go yet. Talent. Who's winning? He's got Danny Sullivan climbing all over him like a rash, but he's having a go at the Ferrari. Can he get inside him? He has done it. He's done it. Rosberg's through. It's not over yet, mate. He's picked the bad spot because the power of the Ferrari might well take it past him again because they're now onto the longest straight on the circuit. Seven, eight, and ten in the white and blue Brabham Hector Rebac for Mexico, who's used to the car because last year he was driving in American cars. C-A-R-T races, and most of the practice has been in the wet. He spun off this morning and bang! Oh! That's the third engine in two days. Bloody like turbos. Yes. Yeah, yeah they can afford it. Has gone, or a piston. He blew a piston in two engines yesterday in practice. Tiny is again tonight. Suits me. With this Honda V6 in testing without any... Tr He's got away. Hey, you're running late, aren't he? And this is the second half of this race. Don't move. Still there. Clean through the West Oh, lava not good enough for you, eh? It's not for me. Mm, I bet. Something to put hairs on your chest. Joke? Hello, love. Dad, I thought you said you were going to fix this thing. Oh, not now, love. Grandstand. Because we want to watch two programs. Aha! Lifestyle questionnaire. Is there equality in your home? Question one. Ready? When you go to the pub with your man, does he A. Leave you while he joins the lads at the dartboard? Or B. Does he include you in the game? Or C. Does he stay by your side all evening? It's a multi-choice thing. You've got A to C. D. D? He doesn't take me to the pub at all. Is it okay if I use your cassette recorder? Oh, be quiet.
With the leg exercise, lie on the left side, hands on the floor, supporting the body. Now bring the knee up to the shoulder, then stretch out and up. Ready? Out, in, out, up, down. In, out, up, down. In, out, up, down. Four, out, up. Don't stop. The referee's whistle had already gone for a penalty to Leicester, would you believe? The move continued to produce... Okay, I give up. What? You're moody. I'm not in a mood? Not much. Why should I be in a mood? We're having fun, aren't we? And at seven o'clock, when grandstand and the football results are over, and as long as nothing goes into extra time, we shall all get a nice takeaway, and we shall settle down for match of the day. Oh, don't worry. I can hear myself too. I'm turning into the sort of woman I loathe, a carping cow. Carping, perhaps. Oh, thanks. We do have fun, you know, Donna. More than most people. Oh, I know, I know. I'm just full of BS, as my son so quaintly puts it. Well, well. What? There is no match of the day today. No? Well, any highlights. Golf? No. Ice hockey? Nothing. Well? Oh, you mean, um... Right. So which of us does the honours? Oh, gentlemen prefer blonde. Because we fancy a night out with our husbands, like other people. And because if Donna doesn't get out of this house soon, I can't be held responsible. We go? OK, why not? Now, shift yourself, woman. Push over. Great. But I was just too. Party, wasn't there? Oh, look, surely you can stay in just for once. You go to a party every Saturday night. Listen, he's going to be clean and he's going to be fed. You won't even know he's there. Um, is it all right if I ask some of the boys around then? How many? One or two. Well, no boozing and breaking the place up. Thanks, Mum. I saw place coming, baby, but it's been I saw skin do. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Another sports coverage over on BBC oh, Two cool. this evening, when we'll bring you the finals of the World yeah. Snooker Championship live well, from the Crystal Theatre, no, Sheffield. No, That's the finals of the World Snooker Championship live on it's BBC Two at 8:15. Uh, yeah. Here on BBC One now, it's cartoon time. Oh, no, 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 it's just like, yeah. Oi. No, no. All right, now. So you ran some people, all right? You're Look, look, I've got to go and be an asshole, dear. See ya. Come on. Clock. serious. What do you mean? The girls are about going out tonight. Why? Well, you know what we forgot. What? Snooker finals, BBC 2, 8.15. Oh, no. Oh, yes. I see. Well, what are we going to do? We'll either plead illness or do a full frontal. Ray? If I'd known, of course I'd have said something, but I didn't, did I? So how could I? In there's other nights. Tomorrow night. You know what it's like in these restaurants on a Saturday night, all that smoke queuing for a table. Uh, Jen can come over here, keep you company, it'd be fun. All right, say it, I'm a selfish sod who only thinks about himself. You've just about covered it. Well, there's nothing to stop you girls going out. Call yourself liberated, don't you? revolves at a 
thousand miles per hour. It's enough to make you dizzy. Talk amongst yourselves. I may be some time. Thank you, Ambassador. Night, Jim. Thank you. Hey! Manoj Tranescu! Ah, good man. Get him to move, sir. I'll do it, Boff. <laughs> sir! Sir! Did you make your phone call, sir? I had a word with the ambassador, yes. I found Barclay Card, sir. No, oh, please. International Rescue, sir. They got me a lawyer. Sharky! An English speaking lawyer, sir. Well, I'm being seen personally by the Minister of Justice. Can I help you? Ooh, dry white wine, please. I'm afraid the bars are closed. Bye. Welcome to a city where bacon rolls at a hundred miles an hour. Welcome to Intercity. If you want to make sure you're eating enough fiber, it's worth knowing there's as much fiber in eight bowls of brown rice as you'd find in just a single bowl of Kellogg's All Bran. Kellogg's All Bran, a great fiber provider. If you get a headache, you just don't feel very bright. And if the pain gets worse, it can really get you down. To stop bad pain, try a painkiller with something extra. And it an extra, 40% more pain reliever than many ordinary tablets. Anodin in extra turns off pain. Where can you find permanently low prices on tea time snacks? Quality home brands, frozen food, freshly baked bread, and fresh eggs. At Asda, where prices are constantly checked to keep them low. That's Asda price. To add light and warmth, the easy way. Use new Crown Cream's emulsion. Make your home your own with Crown. He gets picked on at school and yelled at at home. But down at the station, he's a real trooper. Be careful out there! I don't get along with kids. I don't like them. They don't like me. You don't have to get up to impress me. I'm your worst nightmare. An eight-year-old with a badge. Cop and a half. Right, I don't do anything drastic, it'll blind me. trying to do? You're mad! You want to stick to pushing bleeding supermarket trolleys? <laughs> but what are you waiting for?
Marvellous. Now what? <clears throat> Officer, I was going too fast, wasn't I? Oh, it's just that it's, uh, it's our wedding anniversary today, my uh, husband and mine, and, um, and we're late, and we got this table booked. You know what it's like, trying to get the baby to bed early and the babysitter and then picking my friend up here. Nice and... Oh, yes. Oh, dear. So silly, isn't it? To ruin an evening you planned for weeks. But was I going terribly fast? Yes, of I must have been, mustn't I? Otherwise you wouldn't have stopped me, would you? Your car? Yes. And not that I use it much, just uh, shopping, playgroup. A piece of advice. You want to drive like that? Do everybody a favour and find yourself a racetrack. OK? Thank you, officer. Crawler. <laughs> She actually pulled out right in front of me. And when I tried to pull her up and tell her about her driving, she just went. I'll choose the pot next time. Cheers. Cheers. Davies looks as if he's got his work cut out on this one. Don't you start. <sighs> I forgot what it felt like, knowing the eyes of everyone are on me. It goes to one's head, doesn't it? Yes. Look at that. My hands are still shaking. I don't know which is worse, being a passenger with you or running for my life as a pedestrian. Can't you ever drive anywhere slowly? Oh, go on, you love this. What's up? I know him. Jim? Never clapped eyes on him before. Wishful thinking. Oh, funny. <laughs> Excuse me, have you got a light? Thank you very much. my touch. Aren't you ever curious? Well, I'm not that curious. <laughs> Funny thing happened on our way here. <laughs> we got stopped by the police. Oh, dear. For speeding. Oh, oh, we got off. But he told Donna here. Uh, this is Donna, by the way. <laughs> he told Donna that if she wanted to drive like that, she should do it on a racetrack. I used to go in for that myself. Pardon? Racing. But on a track? That is the usual place. Excuse me. Don't I know you from somewhere? Do you? Yeah, I'm sure I do. It's the car. You service our car. It's a red mini, a J registration with a roof rack. I do a lot of minis. When did you do it? The racing. Oh, late 60s, early 70s. Did you ever win anything? Class winner, British Empire Trophy, Mallory Park. Runner-up, BRSCC Saloon Car Championship. Tourist Trophy, Goodwood. Brooklyn Memorial Trophy. Why did you never keep it up? Little things like earning a living got in the way. <laughs> when you're racing on a track, What's it feel like? Lonely. Exhilarating. Because in the end, you know, it's just you, the car, and your own limitations. And how far you're prepared to go to overcome them. You mean fear? I mean not giving in to it. Sounds exciting. Fear is 
to other people. Do many women ever do it? Been known. How? What sort of cars? Whatever they can afford, whatever they can lay their hands on. Is it difficult to get started? <laughs> From scratch? Yeah. Hypothetical question? Yeah. The only thing that counts is how much you want to do it. It's dirty, it's expensive and it's dangerous. You end up pawning everything you've got to pay for it, losing all the most of your social life and never seeing your family. Just depends how important those things are to you. Husband thinking of taking it up, is he? My Colonel Blimp number an hour ago. Much good it did. on and some other special features which I'm sure we'll pull out of the bag which all means it's a, another Monday morning in fact a Monday Monday but don't you worry about that because we'll pull you through with oh, lots of good music
talk about? Yeah, uh, just something for that. Oh, thanks. Mr. Lark? Uh, hello again. Um, it's my car. It's making this noise. Where? From the engine. The car? Oh, it's out front. Bill! We've had to push it for miles. Hatch. 69. Nice. Naught to 114.5 seconds. Oh. What's this writing? Sponsor. Oh? I did the driving, he paid the bills. What, just for his name on the car? Made him feel big. People will do a lot to feel that. Do you pay for everything? Right down to the trailer. Who was he? Who was he? He owned this place before me. Right, cop hold of that wheel. Okay? Yep. Hear it? Yeah. Differential. Be a couple of days. Oh well, whatever you say. Come on in. David. David, come on. Listen, you go on, I'll catch you up, okay? Come on, Davy. Uh, Mr. Lark, this, um, this sponsor of yours, did you buy the car as well? Well, he used my own, didn't I? <laughs> oh, come on. You must see the funny side. Just not being realistic. The realistic thing to do would be to carry on just as we are, right? Doing sweet F.A. Look, I don't pretend that I've been laying awake at night dreaming about it, and I know it won't be easy, but that's why we should try it, don't you see? No, since you ask. Because the getting there, the getting over the problems is part of it. It's a 12-year-old banger, for heaven's sake. And let's face it, you're no chicken yourself. Yeah, well... Perhaps that's part of it, too. Anyway, I just happen to think I'd be rather good at it. You're good at loads of things. Oh, yeah, like what? Making flan cases. Well, where do I fit into this grand plan? I don't even drive. Mechanic? <laughs> oh, Donna. Well, you can learn, can't you? Oh, sure, when I know how to open the bonnet. OK, skip it. Well, I'm allowed an opinion, aren't I? It's lunacy. Not only that, it's dangerous. You heard what he said. Plus the little fact you've never even been to a car race. Oh, yes, I have. I used to go with Ray. Oh, I'm going to get a saga on the thrills of winning now, am I? Yes, it was very exciting. As a spectator, sure. Yes, but that's all it ever is. Watching other people have a go every damn weekend. They're only people, but with a bit of guts, a bit of ambition. OK. So it's just something I plucked out of the air. So what? I'm only talking about a little race somewhere. Just something to give us a point, something to aim for. Have you any idea at all of what's involved? Like what? Cost? Aha, uh -huh. I've thought of that. Ken Lark. I asked him, I suggested that if, only if, mind, I entered a race, whether he'd sponsor me. And? He thought I was joking. There you are. Yes, right. Here we are.
You just haven't thought it through. Well, I haven't had much of a chance yet, have I? For a kick-off, everyone will laugh themselves stupid. So? And driving on a track is bound to be different from on a road. Which is the idea? You'll be way out of your depth. Well, at least there won't be any speed limits or police. Or yobbos with swinging dice. I wouldn't count on it. Plus the little fact of what Ray will say. Yes, well... Which I just dread to think. Yeah, well, that's my problem, isn't it? Not if you want me in on it, no. What does that mean? It means I can't go along with it if he vetoes it. How can I? How can I look him in the eye? I'm, I'm supposed to be his friend, for heaven's sake. And there was I thinking you were mine. I am. And it's because I am I can't... Well, do something which... Look, it's enough I'd be helping you risk your neck without risking anything else. Are you still there? I'm here. Well, you must see where that puts me. Yeah. I'd be pig in the middle, wouldn't I? Well, since we can pretty well guarantee that he won't go along with it, what you're really saying is forget it, right? I'm just saying that I can't be party to something which might... Make waves. Yes. Fine. Well, thanks for letting me know where I stand. That's what you'll say to Ray, is it? Very tactful. You know perfectly well what I'm saying. Look, I'm just trying to think out all the angles, that's all. Yeah, I know. Well, if you handle him right, who knows, you may pull it off. And if I don't, you pull out. I can't do it without you. You said getting over the problems is part of it, right? Right. Right. Well, this is the first one. The rest we face together. Is that a promise? Hand on heart. Uh, but Donna... Choose your moment, OK? You mean there's a right one? Today in Britain, there's a type of scavenger. Like a hyena, it preys on the defenceless. It shows no compassion towards its victims. Most car crimes are committed by opportunists. If your car hasn't got adequate security, you're making it easier for them. Leave it unlocked, and they're laughing. Car crime. Together, we'll crack it. We've tested how far a pound goes when you're washing up with fairy compared with some so-called value brands. We found that a pound's worth of the so-called value brand went a long way. But what about fairy? Fairy's so much better at unsticking grease. A pound's worth goes even further. This much further. So you could say you get this much washing up for free. Now you may spend a few more pence, but a pound goes miles further with fairy. Why is salad oil so difficult to get out in a 40 degree wash? Because it's fat. But Aerial Ultra can digest fat at 40 degrees. And butter? At 40 degrees, my powder won't usually shift it. How come? Because it's fat. But Aerial Ultra can digest fat at 40 degrees. How? Because Aerial Ultra has fat digester. On these fat stains at 40 degrees, some other compacts can have problems. But Ariel is better on fat, leaving clothes ultra clean. I hate to admit it, but Ariel's work. Fat stains? What fat stains? Ariel Ultra can digest fatty food stains at 40 degrees some other compacts leave behind. Whether it's for beginners or experts, Fisher-Price knows skates have to be tough for little feet. The Fisher-Price 123 skates have a three-speed safety setting to let you go as fast or as slow as you like. With Fisher-Price, skating is as easy as one, two, three. Have you caught new corn bobs? They taste just like... Crunchy popcorn! Corn. They're a new from Kellogg's! The great taste of... Crunchy popcorn! They're from Kellogg's! Corn bobs, corn bobs, corn bobs, corn bobs, corn bobs, corn bobs. They're great as part of this nutritious breakfast. 
like crunchy pop popcorn. You gotta catch new corn pops. New Pears Cleansing Bar with glycerin and avocado oil to cleanse skin softly and beautifully because all my skin needs is pears and water. I'll be spending less time on you this year. Is it something I've said? No, it's something Black & Decker have done. The new Trim & Edge has a unique system, Autofeed Plus. If the cutting line breaks, more line is fed out automatically, trimming the time it takes to trim and edge. That's better. Nice one, Speedy. I need a Trim & Edge. Trim -edge. The new Trim & Edge, edge with Autofeed Plus from Black & Decker. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Told you. We don't play games with each other, do we? Eh? I mean, if we've got something to say, we just come right out and say it, don't we? Go on. Well, the point is... thing is... Now, listen. I want you to know I'm serious about this. Might sound like a joke, but it's not, OK? Fine. It's not a joke. You're serious and I'm in the dark. You think I'm a good driver, don't you? A bit fast, but good. A born driver, you've often said, haven't you? You've crashed the car. It's in dock, remember? You want to buy a new one? No. No, I want to do a sort of, um... conversion job on the old one. A well, mini? Hmm. Why? Well, I want to enter it for a race. You what? Motor race. <laughs> when you've had your laugh, can we talk? Sure, fine. <laughs> What do you intend racing it against, by the way? A traction engine? <laughs> no, I intend to race it against other cars. In a proper race, on a proper racetrack. I intend to find myself a sponsor to help raise the money to do the necessary work on the car. I intend to put what modicum of skill I seem to have to some use. And if you still think that's a joke... Tough. Yeah. Someone says that on the radio, you know. Tell us what you look like so I can recognise you. Yeah. Little blonde hair, she says. I'll be wearing a mini skirt, she says. Well, I can't be bad on thing. My luck's changing on thing, you know. Yeah. So, I know John down the boozy, you know, for the eye of the What she didn't tell me was she weighs 14 stone with acne and a dose of halitosis drop a man at 40 yards. Ali what? Process, mate. Noxious fumes emanating from the old gob. When? When have I ever stopped you doing anything? Yeah, look, hang on, Cook's good. Record so good, why start now? I'm not the one starting anything. I just thought it would be fun, that's all. Fun? All that right. Exciting. So dumb it'd be laughable. You're not entertaining some vague idea you might actually win something, are you? 
I mean, these club races may be small, but they're fast, and I mean fast. Can you honestly see in that old jalopy? Well, it has been known for minis to win races. Racing minis, yes, with experienced drivers. You're not just doing this for fun, are you? You really think you can win something? Do you know what it takes to make a winner? Someone who's got nothing to lose. No, I don't think it's that. Something Ken said about... about facing things that other people can't. Like what? Well, like fear and your own limitations. <laughs> Having to concentrate everything you've got to stay alive. That's what makes a winner. You really think you can do that, do you? Well, I'd like to think so. I don't want to turn into a middle-aged housewife with a shopping basket on wheels. Oh, so that's it. Custer's last stand. Yes. Unless we provide me with another child to keep me busy for a few more years. Oh. Turn off the blanket, will you? Oh. Oh. I'm not asking your permission, you know. I rather got that message. I was looking for your support. You want to try working with boilers all day long? Cup of tea, Mr. Uh, um, uh, oh, yes, madam. Thank you, madam. Three bags full, madam. And coming home too knacker to do anything except flake out in front of the box. Fun. It's something most of us grew out of a long time ago. Mm. Well, I remember that the next time you're shouting yourself hoarse at a cup final. Things just aren't that easy. If they were, I imagine you'd have done something on your own account by now. Oh, let's just go to sleep, will we? Come on. Cuddle up. If I asked you seriously to forget it, would you? Are you? If I did. Yes. But what I wouldn't forget was that you'd asked. Do you want one piece, Davy, or two? Two. Hi. I suppose you're in on this, too. She told you, then? She did. Look, it's a mad idea, I know. But then the best ideas often are. She's just mad enough to pull it off as well. With a little help from a friend. Now, look, Jen, he didn't veto it. Not much. He didn't. He just hasn't got used to the idea, that's all. Join the club. What did Mick say? He didn't. He sniggered. Especially the part about me being the mechanic. That went down like a Benny Hill gag. So? What? Are we in business? Well, that rather depends on what's-his-face. Ken Lark. You're doing it again, aren't you? You're putting it off. Waiting for something to happen. Listen, nothing's going to happen unless we make it happen, is it? What is this say, Oh, me? darling, I'm talking to Jen. I'll tell you later. I repeat, are you in it or not? You're really that confident, are you? About the driving? Enough to try. Now what is it? You don't really need me, Donna. I do. For moral support, that's all. The mechanic bit's just a handy peg to hang it on. It needn't be. Not if you go into it the way I have wanting to do it. Can you honestly give me one good reason why I should? 
overlooking the fact that what I know about car engines, you can balance an end of a pin. No. Exactly. Except out of friendship. Oh, very clever. The old moral blackmail. I like it. Oh, <coughs> come on. You don't honestly think I'm doing that, do you? No. You know the feeling? Looking in the mirror and seeing the same tired old face looking back at you? Well, when you feel like that, you do something about it. Like now. Me, all I do is pile a bit more bleach on my hair, try out a new shade of eyeshadow and kid myself. So? So let's not kid ourselves about this mechanic thing. If and when the time comes when you find you need an expert, then I bow out. Agreed? Not if I have anything to do with it. Oh, no, look, Donna, if we are going to do this, then winning must come first and friendship second. Deal? Well, not a very fair one. Look, so you get yourself a race and I get to keep my pride. Well, that sounds fair enough to me. I did warn you, it was a big job. Quite. Don't say it, say it now. Mr. Lark, that other thing we talked about, uh, my racing, I wondered whether you'd given it any thought. Was I supposed to? Well, that was rather the idea. Things we'd have to get straight. Oh? I'd have to see you drive. On a track? Something like that. And if I came up to scratch? Then we talk. Well, I'd rather like to talk about it now, Mr. Lark. It's quite reasonable for you to lack confidence in me, but I don't, you see. And whatever you may think, I'm not interested in it as a hobby. I wouldn't insult either of us by even suggesting it. Pretty little speech. Thank you. <clears throat> Terms. Sorry? Terms on the sponsorship. What sort of terms? As in conditions. Competition rules say you're allowed up to eight sponsors, which means eight names on the car. I just want mine. Agreed. I supply the labour, you supply the parts. Well, that could be astronomical. Jen. When the car competes, posters will be printed, amount to be agreed, with my name prominent, to be displayed in local shop windows. Organisation and cost you bear. Do I go on? On all posters and other PR, I'm called both the sponsor and the team manager. All expenses visiting the track will be paid by you. You also stand all competition and entrant fees. Plus, I decide what races are entered and when, and you give me an undertaking to follow my training program to the letter, including packing the whole thing in if I think you're wasting my time. Is that it? If and when there is any prize money, it'll be split 60-40 my way. Oh, come on, Donna, we've heard enough. Uh, these, these parts, what sort of money are we talking about? Assuming the subframe sound, new suspension, new body shell, new gearbox, new brakes, new engine parts, new racing wheels, tyres, say upwards of 2,000. What? Labour would double that, which is my investment. And if my driving were up to it, what are our chances of actually winning? Have you any idea at all of where we're supposed to find this £2,000? Oh, come on, Donna. This 60-40 split should be our way, not yours. We're talking about peanuts, anyway. Not to us, not considering the costs we're bearing. 50-50. And 50-50 on the posters and entrance fees? 70-30, your way. 60-40. Done. And I'll want help with the labour. An extra pair of hands if you want to compete this season. Or meet my mechanic. Pits. Pardon? Pits at the track. That's where the real work's done. I'm not afraid of work, Mr Lark. Do we have a deal? I want it drawn up by a solicitor. All legal. Sounds fair. Which you pay, pay for, yes. And when do you want me to do this drive? Tomorrow. 8am. Here. I'll navigate. 
Thank you, Mr. Lark. Yes. <clears throat> Two thousand. How? How are we ever going to do it? Well, we'll, we'll open a bank account and we'll put in the family allowance. Oh, great. That just leaves us 1,990. But you agreed, Jen. You agreed. Tight fisted son. Well, no one says we've got to like him. Team manager. <sighs> well, first off, we better get hold of a stopwatch and find ourselves some kind of private road where you can get in some practice. What are you smoking at? You're beginning to sound like me. What can you get for a practically new barbecue? Uh, 20? And a set of golf clubs? Mick won't like it, Jen. Who says he's going to know about it? And there's that new motor mower Ray Morton never uses. Oh. Tired of taking all that good advice. I wanna go skating on black, black ice. Raw edges. I'm actually nervous. It's only a test. Well, it's not even that. More an assessment. I mean, I'll just be looking for potential. Confidence. And confidence breeds confidence, doesn't it? Just don't let him get to you. No. Remember, if we go all mealy-mouthed on him, he'll have us running round in circles. Right. And if he tries his team manager routine, we put him straight. We're a team on equal terms. Equal everything. Right. Right. There he is. 
be he ever so humble. After you. And the board. Well, what's it for? Timekeeping. Well, aren't I going with you? Nope. You're up there. Start the clock as she moves off. Move? That's your driving position? Well, yes. When you're ready, 